Hello again from Metro Manila, the Philippines, Southeastern Asia. Here is my brief summary of the Philippine news headlines found on the following Philippine newspapers' websites. The Philippine Star, the Philippine Daily Inquirer, and the Manila Standard. As always, I declare at the outset of this news video that I do not intend to infringe on any copyrights. Duterte likens, uh, I'm sorry, um, Magdalo to ISIS asks San Paolo to engage Senator Trillianes in shooting match. Duterte slams critics who demonize him, denies ordering narco politicians murder. Magdalo hits back at Duterte for likening rebel soldiers to ISIS. Paolo Duterte, I don't seek revenge on Trillianes, I want justice. Duterte to cut short Asia and Pacific economic community trip due to urgent domestic developments according to Malacanang Palace. Duterte vows to support development of Papua New Guinea. Five troops killed in ambush by Abu Sayyaf. Sandigan Bayan allows Imelda Marcos to post 150,000 peso bail may have been actually yesterday's news item, or almost. Fun run stalls traffic in Phil Invest City, Alabang, but that has ended already because I actually walked there during a portion of that uh, fun run, although around the festival super mall after coming from uh, the Commerce Avenue. Paul Senator uh, Grace Poe questions DILG plan to sue Ang Provinciano. More people seem uh, to have sex in self driving cars. 150,000 peso bail, just small change for Imelda Marcos, according to Vice President Lenny Robredo. Senator Vicente Sotto defends Duterte's power naps in Singapore. Duterte takes another stab at ICC or international. Criminal Court. Um, missing in California, campfire soars to 1,000. Well, that was not a Philippine news item. Sima to orders closure of two erring mining companies. Rice tra tarification bill gives farmers a fighting chance. Uh, UBL or UBL denies criminal raps filed by Garin over vaccine. Police nab five Chinese accused of gang rape. Three Georgian nationals with fake visas held. Duterte okays Filipino sign language law. Vibrant Oceans Initiative backs Oceana Philippines Drive. Ilo Ilo City residents told do not fear Peko's threats. Duterte wants death to Deng Vaksha cul culprits. Legislators back extension of martial law in Mindanao. Arroyo asks Suarez to head revived oversight panel. 